I invite you to familiarize yourself with the next exercises in the field of expression that you can perform in workshop groups. Exercise, my expression. An exercise showing the diversity of possible expressions of the same state in different people, supporting sensitivity to this diversity, providing an experience of the distinctiveness of individual expression in relation to the expressions of others, supporting acceptance of diversity and triggering acceptance, openness and curiosity about the diversity of expressions. Participants, the whole group, stand in a circle, stand differently than usual, back, back to the center of the circle. The task can be performed in smaller subgroups, but at the expense of this solution, the efficiency of learning for individuals will decrease to facilitate work and reduce social exposure, reduce fear of showing one's expression. The facilitator's task is to give the group an expression key, which is a word or a short verbal form describing something expressive, characteristic, vivid, known to the participants, e.g. anger, fear, joy, pleasure, emotional states, sun, storm, lightning, silence, wind, winter, summer, autumn, spring, steel, earth, wood, east, west, north, south, long braid, sharp nail, green meadow, family of swans and so on. Participants, on the other hand, are tasked with finding their own way of expressing this phenomenon, and when they are ready, turn to the center of the circle and show themselves in a role, themselves in the quality of the expression key, in other words, show, for example, the wind, anger, sun, love. The facilitator's task is to encourage participants to express themselves using movement and voice, as well as to follow their internal impulses in expression, allowing themselves behaviors consistent with nature. The first variant of the exercise. Participants, in any order, who is ready, turn to the center of the circle and show their expression of the key word. We do not limit the time unless someone would take up space much longer than others. The pace emerges by itself, through intuitive entry into the circle of individuals. This stage can end when everyone shows their expression, or when the facilitator considers that the rest, who have not yet shown, will not do it and gives the next key, then everyone again turns back to the center of the circle and the exercise starts anew and lasts as long as participants do not show signs of fatigue, then it can be finished, moved to discussion or to the second variant performing it shorter than the first. The second variant of the exercise. After giving the word key of expression, the facilitator gives a moment of preparation time for the whole group and invites everyone to simultaneously show the same expression key. The facilitator's task is to sensitize participants to the possibility of being in their expression while observing the expression of others to the same phenomenon. This variant can be performed as the only one, separately, it can also be used as a summary of the first variant using particularly significant expression keys for a given group. Between individual expression keys, it is worth taking a break for a deeper breath, consolidation, and preparation for the next one. Proposed questions for discussion. How did you work in this exercise? How did you feel in it? What emotions appeared in you? What did you find difficult? What helped to free your expression? How did it affect you to observe a different expression of the same in others? What did you discover? What did you learn about yourself? What does it show you in the everyday life? What practical significance does this observation have? How to implement it in life? What can change for the better if you make use of it? Exercise, my pattern of expression. The exercise supports a deep understanding of one's own expression and relaxation in exposing it to the world. Work in trios or small subgroups. The task of the facilitator is to give instructions step by step, to help participants form subgroups, to cheer, support and ensure that the group stays on the topic of work, to suggest questions to deepen awareness around the participants' discoveries.
In the first stage, the participants sit independently, each of them is to choose five characters from show business, films, life, family, which they know and are interesting, intriguing, attractive to them, have something they would like to have just like them in behavior, way of being, appearing, living, working, playing, and so on. Then the participants sit in subgroups and their task is to share with each other descriptions of these characters in as much detail as possible. The task of the listeners is to ask questions deepening the awareness of the characters on which other participants are modeling themselves, to be curious and attentive so that the speaker sticks to the topic, so that emotions do not carry them in a different direction than the task. Questions for listeners' inspiration Tell me more about this person. What attracts you about her him? What is important, valuable to you in this? Why do you want to manifest yourself in this way? How do you think this person came to manifest himself herself in this way? What do you want to achieve for yourself through such expression? What are your reflections after the exercise? How do you understand the specifics of your expression now? Does your expression require correction, work, or can it be accepted as it is? What is the purpose of becoming aware of the sources, patterns, needs, ways of your expression? The intention of these questions asked by the group leader is to encourage reflection and conclusions that free from excessive need to correct one's own expressive behaviors by becoming aware of their sources, and needs related to them, visions of oneself, at the same time it may also encourage to direct efforts towards coherent, accepting, in harmony with oneself acceptance and development of one's natural expression, seeking balance between its components originating from different patterns. From the past, renouncing some, strengthening others. That was the last exercise we planned for you as part of the series of videos on the topic of expression and improvisation. I also encourage you to familiarize yourself with the other videos prepared as part of our project. Remember, improvisation, the ability to create and make decisions on the fly, without prior planning, is key in many areas of life, not just on stage but also in business, in the sciences, or even in everyday conversations. Through improvisation we learn freedom, flexibility of thinking, as well as courage in presenting our ideas. Expression, on the other hand, is the ability to express our feelings, thoughts, and ideas in a clear and convincing way. It is a skill that helps in communication with other people, building relationships, and expressing oneself as a unique person. Expression is also key to understanding oneself and one's emotions, which is extremely important for our emotional health. Having these skills gives us more confidence, helps us better understand ourselves and others, and allows for better adaptation to changing situations. They are extremely important both in private and professional life. Thanks to improvisation and expression, we can become more creative, flexible, and open to new experiences. It is these skills that allow us to take a creative approach to problems, quickly adapt to changing conditions, and communicate effectively with others.